Bueno, Today's lesson introduces the final main phrase, so we might go an extra minute longer than usual. So far, we've talked about two of the three main phrases in Samoan. Look at this sentence. I went to the store. This sentence answers the who, the what, and the when or the where. So we talked about the who phrase, otherwise known as the noun phrase. In this case, it's I, or in Samoan, it's oa. We've talked about the what phrase, as in what action or verb. In this sentence, it's went, or in Samoan, it's sa'alu, or the past sense of go. And then the phrase that we're talking about today is the when where phrase, or what your English teacher might refer to as the prepositional phrase. But I say the when where phrase. So what's the when where in this sentence? Right, to the store or ile fale o loa. So you can construct this sentence as a who plus a what plus a when or where phrase, o a usa alu ile fale o loa. Or you can combine the who and the what phrase and say sa alu a u ile fale o loa. They both say the same thing. It's just a different sentence structure. So we've talked about these two phrases. Our focus today is on the when where phrase or the prepositional phrase. Oftentimes, this phrase begins with our word of the day, e, as in ile fale o loa. I'm at the library. Notice that these two phrases have two different words that begin the phrase, but they both begin with e. That's because it's not really a word per se. It's an indicator that lets you know that this is the when where phrase or the prepositional phrase. Also, these phrases don't always begin with E because there are other prepositional words and indicators in Samoan as well. Plus, there's even more on this E, but for our beginner purposes, that's all for now. Let's move on to two other indicators. What if I said, I said that to them? I is your who or your noun phrase. Said that would be your what or your verb phrase. And to them would be your to where or your prepositional phrase. The phrase changes slightly because you're talking about people. Like I said many times before, the Samoan language is very focused on fa'alo'alo, or respect, and separating things from people. Even here, the language acknowledges the respect with a ya, I with the A eyebrow, instead of just the E. E is for things, not people. Ya is for people. Sa'ofayaku, ya oko. I said that to you all. I just threw the ball to Eleanor. I will go with them. Now right here you see that ya ilako. This is not a preposition e. It's actually part of the term ilako. Oftentimes in regular conversation it's omitted, but I don't want you to be confused by this ya ilako, ya imako, ya imaua, and phrases like that because you're gonna see it especially in written Samoan. Finally, there's ya te. So we had e for things, ya for people, and ya te when we're talking about a person, singular person, and you follow up with a singular pronoun. And from the pronoun lesson, you know that there are three of them. Oa'u, oi, and oia. Me, you, and him or her. So you said to me would be sa'e faimayakiau. So now we talked about three different phrases. Understand that these phrases can rearrange and mix. So you could say it like this, or you want to emphasize that. And depending on which sentence structure, you use different pronouns. So I hope you learned something new.